With so many cybersecurity certifications out there, it's easy to feel confused about which one is right for you. Today, I'm breaking down five cybersecurity certifications and explaining how they differ and why you'd want to study for each one. Whether you're a total beginner or a seasoned pro, stick around because this video will help you find the perfect certification to boost your career. Welcome to the channel, I'm Luke, and with over 13 years of recruitment experience, many within cybersecurity, I've seen firsthand how these certifications can make or break a career. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the CompTIA Security Plus. This certification is ideal if you're just entering the field of cybersecurity. It's designed to give you a solid foundation in key areas like network security, cryptography, and risk management. But why study this? Well, if you're new to the industry or coming from another IT role, Security Plus is a great choice because it covers the basic across the board. It's a stepping stone that opens doors to entry level positions like security analyst or systems administrators. You don't need prior experiences and it's recognized globally, making it a great start for building your cybersecurity career. So how does it differentiate itself? Well, the Security Plus is designed to be a broad foundational certification providing a genuine understanding of a wide range of security topics. It's less specialized compared to the other certifications like CISSP or the OSCP, which focuses more deeply on specific areas of cybersecurity. For example, the CISSP dives into security management, governance and high level security architect, which is critical for professionals aiming for leadership roles in large organizations. It involves managing security policies and risk management and system design on a strategic level. Security Plus is ideal for someone who is new to the industry and needs to cover all the basics, including network security, threat management, and cryptography, but it doesn't delve as deeply into any one topic. So it's a great starting point that allows you to build a strong foundation, which you can later enhance by pursuing more specialized or advanced certifications like the CISSP. Now, for those who are already established in cybersecurity, we have the CISSP, one of the most respected certifications for professionals looking to move into leadership or high level management roles. But why study for it? Well, the CISSP is all about security strategy and designing enterprise level security systems. If you've got around five years plus of experience and want to focus on roles like chief information security offers or security consultants, then the CISSP will give you the credibility and knowledge to manage large scale security programs. So how does it differentiate itself? Well, unlike the highly practical hands on nature of certifications like the OSCP, which is all about pen testing and ethical hacking, the CISSP focuses on the big picture of security management and strategy. Whereas the OSCP challenges you to demonstrate your ability to break into systems and exploit vulnerabilities in a practical live environment, the CISSP is geared towards individuals who are responsible for designing, managing and governing entire security frameworks within the organization. Now the CISSP covers eight broad domains, such as security and risk management, asset security, security architecture and engineering, and identity and access management. So instead of focusing on how to hack or defend systems in real time, the CISSP prepares you for overseeing and guiding security operation policies and strategies across the whole organization. So it's ideal for professionals who are looking to move into leadership roles, such as chief information security officer, security consultants, or security manager. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more career advice content. And if you're looking for even more tips and insider secrets on building a successful career, make sure you check out my new newsletter, The Career Compass. It's packed with actionable advice on interviews, career growth, and everything you need to navigate the job market. You can sign up for free. I'll put the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Next up, we have the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. Now, this is relatively new, beginner friendly option that's all about making cybersecurity educational accessible to everyone. So why study it? Well, if you're new to cybersecurity and need something that's flexible, affordable and self-paced, then the Google certificate could be a great starting point. You can complete it entirely online and it focuses on the practical skills that you can apply immediately in entry level roles, like identifying and mitigating common threats. So how does it differentiate itself? Well, this certificate is much more affordable and accessible compared to other certifications like the CISSP. With programs like this, you're looking at high costs, often several thousand dollars and a significant time commitment. 
and it's also designed for professionals with several years of experience. So it's not something you would tackle right at the beginning of your cybersecurity career. On the other hand, the Google Cybersecurity Certificate is designed completely with beginners in mind. It offers a cost-effective and flexible way to get your foot in the door without making a huge financial or time investment. It can be completed entirely online and at completely your own pace, making it ideal for people who are trying to transition into cybersecurity or who want to explore the field first before diving into more advanced and expensive certifications. While the Google Cybersecurity Certificate is an excellent starting point, it's not as advanced as or widely recognized as certifications like the CISSP or the OSCP. The knowledge it provides is more practical and entry level, focusing completely on the basics of cybersecurity. Now let's talk about the OSCP, which is perfect for anyone interested in penetration testing or ethical hacking. So why study it? Well, the OSCP is highly practical. You'll spend your time learning how to break into systems, how to find vulnerabilities and exploit them. If you enjoy the technical hands-on side of cybersecurity and want to specialize in offensive security, then the OSCP is for you. It's perfect if you're aiming for roles like penetration tester or security researcher. And how does it differentiate itself? Well, compared to certifications like the CISSP or the GCIH, which focuses heavily on defensive strategies and management of security system, the OSCP is all about offensive security, specifically the skills required for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Whereas the CISSP and the GCIH teach you how to manage security policies, protect against threats and respond to incidents, the OSCP teaches you how to think like an attacker. You'll learn how to identify vulnerabilities, how to exploit them and gain control over systems. The OSCP is unique because it's extremely hands-on. The certification requires you to demonstrate your skills in a 24-hour practical exam where you must break into a series of live machines. This is in stark contrast to the more theoretical exams of the CISSP or the GCIH, which assesses your knowledge of security frameworks and best practices. Whereas the OSCP exam pushes your technical ability to the limit, requiring not just knowledge, but also creative persistence and problem solving under pressure. If you're looking to pursue roles like pen tester or security researcher, then the OSCP is highly respected in the industry because it proves that you can do the work. You can actually hack into systems, not just talk about how it's done. But it's important to note that the OSCP is not for the faint of heart. It's known for being one of the toughest certifications to earn, but that's exactly what makes it so valuable. When employers see OSCP on your resume, they know you've got serious technical ability. And finally, we have the GCIH, which is designed for those who want to specialize in incident handling and response. So why study for it? Well, the GCIH focuses on detecting, responding to, and mitigating cyber attacks in real time. If you see yourself working in security operations center or as part of an incident response team, then this certification will prepare you to handle security incidents from start to finish. And how does it differentiate itself? Unlike the OSCP, which focuses on offensive security, teaching you how to actively hack into systems, the GCIH is all about the defense. With GCIH, you'll learn how attackers think, but your main objective is to stop them before they can cause damage. So this certification trains you to understand the attack techniques, but with the goal of responding to and mitigating those attacks in real time. The GCIH is ideal for those who want to be on the front lines of cybersecurity, working in roles such as incident handler or cybersecurity analyst, analyze and respond to threats as they happen. Then GCIH is the right choice for you. So whether you're just starting out or looking to specialize, there's a certification here for everyone. Go for CompTIA Security Plus or Google Cybersecurity Certificate if you're new and need a solid foundation. And if you want to be a defender who handles incidents in real time, look into GCIH. Now, which certifications are you thinking of pursuing? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know what's more beneficial in cybersecurity, a degree or a certification, then click the video here.